Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at a, another option on how to save your custom settings. My name is Greg Benson Shettle from Address Professional Services. In a previous uh, video we looked at how you could save your custom interface uh, by using AutoCAD profiles. Uh, just a quick reminder, when you go into your options we have a profiles tab. Looked at how you could set up a profile that contained what your AutoCAD looked like with all of the custom settings and very quickly you could go in here and change it from one version to another and your profiles of course can be stored externally to your AutoCAD so that you've got them for backup and to migrate onto other systems. So this is what it looks like in full-blown AutoCAD. However, what about AutoCAD LT? Let's switch over to LT and here we've got the options panel open again and as we look along the various tabs that we have available in our options there is no profile so how can we achieve the same flexibility of being able to save your custom interface inside of AutoCAD LT let's take a look now this tool we're going to use is called workspaces there they are up here now this technique can be used in both AutoCAD LT as well as full-blown AutoCAD. So if we were to set up a custom user interface to start with, so I'm just going to go to view and I'm going to add some toolbars. Okay, so I've now fast-forwarded to where I've actually set up some custom user interface issues. I've got new toolbars in here, I've introduced uh, the menu bar as well but I'd like to be able to save this so that should I need to ever do a reinstall I can just bring it back without having to set it up again now we can do this by using workspaces workspaces are available in both AutoCAD LT and full-blown AutoCAD and all the other vertical variations that AutoCAD provides the workspace is available from the quick access toolbar and it's also available from the status bar on the right hand side down here wherever you see this cog icon. Okay. So looking at this, we can save this as current. Okay. And this is going to offer us the opportunity to give it a name. So as this is a ribbon and it's got the old toolbars in it, I'm going to call this the ribbon hybrid. And save. So that's saved. So I can actually now switch between different types quite easily. But of course, it's not actually backed up anywhere. And that's what we want to have the ability to do. So to be able to use this again and again, even on different machines, what we can do from the workspace drop-down is go to Customize. Now this is going to open up the CUI, the Customize User Interface option and right in the top area on this panel here we can see that we've got the workspaces that are currently defined now to use this what we can do is use the transfer tab and this is going to be a simple drag and drop operation to start with okay so here's the new workspace that we've set up so we can drag this across and place it in the workspace in the right hand panel and now, from the drop down here, we can do Save As. And I can have the opportunity to save this somewhere useful. I'm just going to put it in my documents for the moment. And I will call it the same name. I'll call it Ribbon Hybrid. As you can see, I've done this before. So I'll call it number two. I'll just overwrite the previous one and save. Yes, I want to replace it. And there it is. We've now got it externally saved. So, does this actually work? Let's find out. How about we actually delete this one in the current setup? I can delete it. Yes, I want to. Yes, I want to. And so now I've got a catastrophe. My, even my ribbon has disappeared. But if I come down to the bottom workspaces area, I can re revert back to my drafting and annotation. Okay, back to our vanilla AutoCAD LT. 
how do we bring in that user interface? Again, from the drop down menu, go to Customize, go to the Transfer tab, and we should be then open our Hybrid 2. Open that, here it is, and then it's again a drag and drop operation, but this time we go from right to left. And I can drag it in here, place it wherever I need, apply, and right from here I could also do a right click and say set current, apply and OK. And there we have it. Easy way using workspaces to be able to save your customized user interface. Well I hope you found that useful. It's available always on the blog and on the address uh, YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye for now.